Death toll in the attacks on Miango and neighboring communities in Plateau State is now more than 40. The native Irigue people are accusing Fulanese of attacking them on Monday, two days after the widely reported violence on Saturday. Ngozi Ohaijisi tells us more about this. Over the weekend, the Iriwe Development Association released a press statement notifying the world about an attack that left at least seven persons dead and more than 250 houses raised in some communities in Miango Chiefdom. Davidson Mallison is a youth activist and a spokesman of the Iriwe community. He joined Plus TV Africa on our breakfast show, where he explained that another attack took place on Monday, leading to the death of more than 40 people in total. They raised down more than 250 houses in their forsaken villages. Not fewer than seven people were killed as at on the day I released that press statement. But after my press statement, more four dead bodies were recovered, making a total of 11 people that were killed in that particular incident. Yesterday night, an attack, the rest four, five, six, seven, eight communities and 2,000 households in that community just yesterday night. He also revealed that Heathers hired mercenaries to carry out a coordinated attack. There is a place called, let's say this is not a forest, it's a rocky Sambisa, a rocky Sambisa in Plateau State. This is where these people hired mercenaries. The Plateau State Chairman of Miati Alakato Breeders Association of Nigeria, Mohamed Abdullahi, was also on the breakfast show. According to him, the Iriwe community attacked Fulani Heathers three days before the Saturday killings and raising of houses. It started on Wednesday, where they attacked Rafim Pauna and killed nine cows and then a one herder, which on Friday, uh, monks are not able to attend their, their, their Friday prayers because of the afraid of attacks by Irigue. The latest incident in Plateau State is bringing back memories of just a few years back when Nigerians regularly heard of attacks and counter-attacks between farmers and herders. In all the violence, security agencies are always blamed for not responding appropriately or taking sides. Critics also point to the inability of the state and federal government to punish perpetrators of these attacks. Many are looking forward to this changing with the latest incident. Gazika Ohaechesi for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.